hello, and welcome to the Press Y podcast featuring some brand new tunes. I didn't want to say that. I wish I didn't have to. As soon as I walked in, Gunner threatened to punch me just like he did last week. Add it to the notes, lore people. Today we've got a lot of big stories. We're making up for last week. Last week we had some fun bite-sized little nuggets. Today we've got a whole meal. We've got a whole Thanksgiving ass some feast. Actual tendies. Woo, zoo wee mama. We got plenty. So sit down, relax, go ahead and hit like, go ahead and hit subscribe. Ever heard of Twitter? Well, you should. And follow us, Pressy Media. Pressy press Media. Press Y Media. Keep pressing, what was that? fam. Oh, was it hashtag keep pressing. Keep pressing. Yeah, Spell right. with a Y, though. That's, that's our, our new hashtag. hashtag. Mm-hmm. And you know what else is my hashtag? What's that? I f-ing hate my stepdad. Ouch. All right. <laughs> First story. <laughs> Gunner consistently asks me not to swear, but I don't care. I have I have a little bleep button, little little mutesies. My favorite thing about that. I can thing. edit reality. For the <laughs> reality can be whatever I want reality. it to be. <laughs> what were you going to say there? I don't know. All right. Let's so just go. the first thing we're going to talk about today, Ninja, he he just went over to Mixer. And we all know that, right? So say bye bye Twitch. Bye, say bye bye Twitch. Adios. Well, Twitch has its own little way of saying bye bye. So it's called porn. It, it is. It it's called pornography. It's called porn. So, uh, according to Ninja, no one. This has never happened on Twitch before. But after his channel went offline, so it's it's still there. It's just offline. Twitch is actually recommending other people's uh, other streamers' channels from his account. Well, <laughs> one of the channels that they were recommending had it was like it didn't it have like twenty thousand some something people streaming or uh, watching it. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I I didn't look because when I'm looking for porn, I don't usually go to Twitch. <laughs> but uh, so I, I I didn't see. I don't know. It had a lot of people watching, but apparently it was under the Fortnite category, and they were streaming porn, which is uh, just cool. That's let's get one thing clear. That's cool. I'm not saying if it's good or bad. I want to make it very clear that my thinking it's cool is not an endorsement, and in no way am I, no way am I trying to slander it. But it's objectively cool to post porn to Twitch. I think we can all agree. If you agree, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and follow us on Twitter. Uh, good good plug there. Anyway, uh, Ninja posted an apology picture uh, p- video on Twitter, um, mainly because you know his audience is primarily kids, and so kids who are going to his Twitch channel not knowing he went to Mixer, you know, they'd stumble upon that and then see recommended channels and end up on a streamer. That's streaming you know, porn. You know what I'd say to those kids? What'd you, what would you say to those po- I don't. I don't know if I want to hear those. Why the hell don't you know that he's gone to Mixer? Listen to the Press Y podcast to get all your gaming news. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and follow us on Twitter. Recommend us to any kids you know. Yeah, you also recommend us to everybody. But uh, moving on from that first story, uh, we're going to talk about... Oh, what else? What else is going on? Nintendo 2019 World Championships. That sounds pretty fun. You like competitive gaming, Patrick? Um... Not really. I'm not very good at video games. I'm kind of I'm a borderline casual, some might say. However, I am excited to watch this. The Nintendo World Championships are uh, going to be on CBS on August 25th. For those of you with still still having cable, yeah. Um, if you're a dumb idiot who still has cable, who's still living in 2002, dumb idiots. Nice. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> um, God. but. You know, it's uh, Nintendo World Championships, like we've seen in the past. This year, it's going to consist of my favorite competitive game, New Super... <laughs> I was about to say New Super Mario, Mario Bros. Bros. U. You. It's going to consist of Super Mario Maker 2, Splatoon 2, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, they have not announced the rule set for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate yet, but... But I'm itching to know. I'm hoping... Because I really like them doing items. I'm hoping it's Picto Chat. Picto Chat with... only. With items off except for the um, gust bellows. I just I hope oh that's the, I hope that's turned to high the and that's in the game. Yeah, and uh, Final Smash. Man. I just want them to all play hero, and they can only use <laughs> they the, can only use the specials. The, the specials, yeah. yeah. That's still <laughs> more moves RNG. than most people. Yeah. Um, but I'm personally very excited to watch this. I think it's gonna be cool to see the Nintendo World Championships on obviously what's a a big American network. Um, he's not, he's, he's actually lying. He's not going to watch it. Cause again, he doesn't have cable. Yeah, no, I don't have cable. I'm so, so you're saying poor. you're a filthy pirate. <sighs> I'll watch it through someone's window or something. I okay. Don't know. But either way, I'll figure out a way to watch it. Um, 
And, you know, this is cool because we're seeing a major network support esports. And we kind of yeah. touched on this last week, but... Yeah, like ESPN has supported esports in the it's, past. It's cool to times. see big but, networks yeah. support it and realize that there's value to it, just like a regular sport. Because it is becoming... Or a traditional it, sport, I guess I should say. Yeah, it, I mean, it is becoming ex- like very much more mainstream. But we talked about that last week, and we are not about Again. we are not about repeating our points. No more esports. Unless it's no about more microtransactions. microtransactions. We're done with esports. We're yeah. done with microtransactions. We're done talking about. Want to hear my hot take about microtransactions? Are they bad? They are so good. No, I'm kidding. All right, let's move on. That was uh, an original bit brought to you by Gunner. By Gunner. Uh, go Gun- ahead. Hot and takes with Gunner. Go ahead and leave a comment if you thought that was good. Also, leave a what comment if you thought do? it was bad. Please, nothing more. No liking and subscribing? No, I don't even... People aren't going to like and subscribe after hearing that bit of yours. Right, right. All right. Well, here, how about you move us into the uh, next story, and then I'll talk about it. It's what we call a flow. So, wow, look at that. Yeah. Uh, Segue. Sega. Genesis. Segue. Gen- <laughs> Sega Genesis Mini? Sega Genesis Mini. No, I've seen way too many videos about that. Just like, oh, it's good. It's good. It's not made by at games. Yeah. We hate Sega. Sega sucks. Sega's good. You're you wow. any about? company that makes Sonic is not good. That's my <laughs> any company that makes Sonic. any company affiliated with Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> is not good. I'll yeah. say it. So uh, who's who's doing the movie? The Sonic movie is that DreamWorks? Doesn't matter. Or, uh, 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 does Google that? Uh, why? Because they're associated with Sonic. Yeah, we know they're bad. We don't need to know their name. But I'm curious. Okay. Well, yeah, just 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 talk, we talk. don't stand Sonic the Hedgehog here. Just, I will yeah. say that neither talk while I look if this you up. stand Sonic the Hedgehog, we don't want you to like, subscribe, and comment. We don't. Only like, subscribe, and comment if you hate Sonic the Hedgehog as much as we do. Sonic sucks. The only mascot platformer I care about is Bubsy. I'll say it. You know what? I'll say it. I'm not afraid. Gunner, where? Just find the studio. I'm tired. I, I did. Say it. <laughs> I actually did. I'm trying. To- I'm I'm on IMDb right now. Oh my god! I'll just like cut this. Oh, now it's wanting me to become a pro. Ma- all right, all right, I give up. Okay, well, anyway, whatever. It's a bad studio. Yeah, it's bad we've studio. known we hate before them. Gunner started looking it up. Okay, whatever. Any- <laughs> anyway, next thing: uh, Xbox, Microsoft, specifically Microsoft, because this isn't licensed as an Xbox. Microsoft. Okay, product. Microsoft. Yes. Uh, so Microsoft just filed a patent for a device that looks very similar to, um, many of you know, the game vice, uh, for a smartphone. So it's essentially joy cons for your phone. So they, or tablet, which or is like a, a big phone. It is, it is like a big phone. So Microsoft has filed a patent for their own variation of that. And interestingly enough, you know, it attaches to both sides, just like, like we described, but it also comes together. So it's it's a pretty interesting concept, almost in a similar way to how the Joy Cons can be put into like the Joy Con grip, except it is the Joy Con grip, just the controller itself. So this is this is really cool. It's uh, you know probably likely exclusive for X Cloud games, as well as being able to be used on uh, like an actual Xbox console or Windows 10. But this is this is probably going to be a really good step for Microsoft because they can continue selling exclusive controllers. And this provides them, you know, extra income because accessories make a lot of money. But it's also, also just, just a way to combat the switch. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, it They're is. They kind of slice them off a piece of that sweet switch pie, baby. Yeah. yeah. I, I, <laughs> so, yeah, it's, you know, it's cool to see them do something new like this. Or not necessarily new, but new for uh, you know, another mainstream, uh, like, big three company do. Interesting, fun. And I like we, Xbox. We have seen Sony file some uh, patents for things that could oh, yeah, potentially that compete with patent. Switch. Yeah. Um, this could inspire them to maybe get the ball rolling on that on their end, maybe come up with something more innovative than the Vita, because both Sony and Microsoft have seen how successful the hybrid console can be. People are willing to sacrifice graphical fidelity and just general computing power for that portability bet, yeah, aspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The better um, experience. Yeah, it's a, it, yeah, you're trading in power for a better experience, and... Microsoft and Sony are seeing that, and they're thinking, "Oh, baby, that's something some we want to sink our yeah. big fat teeth into." I think I think the uh, Sony patent, if I remember this correctly, it was actually like a device itself, like an essentially a PlayStation Switch, whereas uh, it's you know Microsoft is taking the smartphone approach. So I'm excited to see what happens because I think X Cloud is going to be you know it, it is part of the future of gaming. 
like literally and as far as like the actual where the industry i think is going to eventually move to with cloud gaming so you know especially once we start getting 5g networks and all that it's going to be uh, it's going to be you know, pretty good uh it's important to note though that a trademark can often mean nothing they could have just filed this because someone had the idea and they didn't want anyone taking it from them i mean a patent i'm sorry a patent yeah not a trademark a patent um could ultimately be nothing they may decide it's not worth the r d their internal research may say that you know xbox fans aren't aren't interested in having a device like this but interesting to see kind of where their mind is when yeah, it comes to competing they, with the switch or getting into the idea market. Yeah, yeah yeah the idea is the idea is there at least in some mm -hmm. form or fashion yeah so that's pretty cool let's see uh let's see what else we got going on so uh whenever we were looking up our topics for this week we were looking up a hat in time and that actually got announced today for the switch like an actual physical release date so uh earlier this week the uh, uh esrb put out a rating for ps4 and switch versions of hat and time t for time comma a hat in yeah that was good t for terrific t for subscribe t for tell my stepdad i don't love him God. t <laughs> for what i'm spilling daily <laughs> Yeah, so it's actually, yeah, so it's rated T instead of E10, like the initial releases of the game. So the game originally came out on PC, Xbox One, and PS4, and so all digitally, mind you. And so I'm assuming that there's going to be a physical PS4 release as well. That includes the DLC, which is why I would have a separate rating, because yeah. I know the Switch version is coming with the Seal the Deal uh, DLC, I think Yeah, yeah, it's a Seal the Deal. Yeah, it comes with Seal the Deal. I wonder if it comes with the... I can't say it like the Neca Muzi. I think Metro. it comes with both, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I know it comes with Seal the Deal. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it is getting a physical release October 18th. You're excited. I am very excited. I have not. I've played already it yet. played the game. It yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. Gunner's been telling me that I need to play it. I'm not a PC gamer because in my mind, PC stands for pretty kooky. Um, also, my stepdad's initials are PC, so I hate that. Yeah, you really don't like. That. <laughs> hate my stepdad god i'm gonna have to go through and edit this a lot there aren't that many there are only two i know actually there's three including that one. Oh, really yeah i'm just keeping oh. mental note okay well anyway i'm very excited uh it's available for pre-order on amazon as of today as of this morning actually spend money consumer um but i'm excited october 18th it i mean i love 3d platformers and just the, the general resurgence of them kind of over the past few years with big names like mario odyssey ukulele Ukulele, Even though I don't ukulele know if I, was kind of ukulele was kind of eh, but it, it I showed that an on interest. Kickstarter too. I mean, it showed an interest at least. Um, yeah. But I'm very excited for Hat in Time on Switch. Yeah. Uh, my only my only concern is that it doesn't run very well because it is on Unreal Engine. I think it's on Unreal. Th well, I want to say it's on, on Unreal Three, but I'm actually not sure. Which I know Unreal Four is the one that's like directly working on the Switch. So I'm I'm interesting interested to see how the conversion comes over because. And I have run their game at like really, really low settings before just to kind of get an idea of like what it may look like on the Switch. And it, yeah, it, it could work. I, I really think it could work. But, you know, I even on my PC, it can run into hiccups every now and then. But that's also with all the settings dialed up. So uh, I think you're really going to like it. And to any of our listeners who haven't played A Hat in Time, go get it on whatever you can. Go get it on your Switch if you have to wait until October. But it's it's really an awesome game. If you do the math, October is two months away. Yeah, isn't that crazy? This year's just flying by. All right. Yeah. I have. No, I I genuinely have nothing to say that I don't okay. know what you want me to do there. Okay. Um. There it wasn't like a lead into anything. Were you just looking for banter? I was just you know marveling at the fact that the year has flown by. Okay. <laughs> All right. What's our next story? I don't know. <laughs> well, then look at the. Um, Nintendo accounted for 60% of advertising in gaming for the month of July. That's, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. They spent, um, about 900000 mostly promoting, um, Mario Maker 2 on Nick Networks, so that's, you know, all the ones that play iCarly, basically. Little children's. Yeah. Um, they were followed by Rockstar with Red Dead 2. Um. On Nick as well. Yeah, <laughs> um, but I just found this interesting because obviously a big, I mean, one of the many reasons the Wii U was such a disaster for Nintendo was because their marketing was absolutely abysmal. Seriously, just go look up like cringe compilations of Wii U ads. You should it's never awful. look up a cringe compilation of anything because it's just bad. But are but, you going to apologize? Uh, no. Oh, okay. 
Well, um, they're clearly they've clearly learned from their mistakes. Their marketing. I mean, you can see just their ads are like just way better. Uh, but also, they're willing to spend a lot more money promoting something like Mario Maker Two, which for attracts. competitive play. Yeah, for competitive play. Uh, as far as Mario Maker being on Nickelodeon goes, that is definitely Mario Maker on Nickelodeon. Uh, moving on. So Town is back in the news. So this is that that little Game Freak game that was announced last year. Well, it has a new name that was just registered called, let's see, Little Town Hero. A lot of people are excited for this because it's a Game Freak game that's not Pokemon. You know, but it's it, an RPG involving monsters. It so is. Is it really? I don't know. I don't. But it's it's set in one one town. That's sort of unique. Uh, you mean like how Pokemon's set in one region? One region for so many games. It's it's Pokemon, but the Pokemon are bad and bigger. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, it they, looks cool, they, but it, it looks it looks pretty. Decent. It's a game freak. I'm it, I'm not gonna lie. It, it looks. I, I will probably buy it. But here's a here's the other thing is that they're still saying that it's gonna come out in 2019. That's not that. Was, there's no way that's there, happening. There's no way there's in hell that's happening. Absolutely, they didn't have a name until two weeks ago. Yeah, literally. Yeah, it, internally probably. I don't yeah. know why I said two weeks. Yeah, they trademarked it like two days ago. Yeah, whatever. So sorry, I'm an idiot, viewers. It's pretty dumb. That's why. Well, at least I'm I read the, the stories this week. At least machine. I read the stories this week, pal. You're right. Anyway, but you know, it's cool to see it finally back in the news again. Game Freak, fun, exciting. Literally but the only if, other time we've heard anything about it was in like September of 2018 when it was announced. And yeah. it was just like town, work and title. And, it's Pokemon, but they're bad. And at that point, we all thought, okay, it's going to be a really big budget title. Well, the fact that they still think it's going to come out in 2019 kind of makes me think that maybe digital only, maybe 30 or $40, not And also that they just really don't care about it that much because if they're they're already rushing Pokemon, so if they're rushing this one too... And, you know, maybe, uh, you know, I, I, okay, art direction and engine are two different things, but it does look like it could be running the same engine as uh, Pokemon Sh- Sword and Shield, so maybe it was just like a project for them well, in order to get their feet there's wet. there's one thing the we know about Game Freak, it's uh, that they're cheap, so they are it cheap. very well could Bring be, back re- national it could decks. be reusing assets from Pokemon Sword it's and It's entirely Shield, for likely. For all we know, it's yeah. very possible. Or lack thereof assets. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the the assets that they retooled from Ocarina of Time, yeah. such as that one fucking tree. Yes, that one tree. <laughs> playable God, and Smash. so awful. It's playable and Smash. Playable tree. and Smash. Uh, it's down special is to remove 75% of the fighters from the roster. But increase your wallet by 75%. Yeah. 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 Because <laughs> Game Freak's cheap. They're, they're cheap. Yeah. Nice. Fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, PS5. That's pretty cool. All right, we're going to do a new segment here on Press Y, since we have a few more stories to cover and Gunner didn't read. We're calling it PYP Presents Rapid Fire. We're just going to give you bullet point pew, statements. Pew pew pew. pew, 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 pew. PS5, there was a leak on 4chan. It's going to be announced February 2020 and released holiday 2020 according to this leak. Boom. Everything PYP Presents Rapid Fire. Pew, oh. pew, 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 pew. Um, Rapid Fire 2. Pew, 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 pew. Um, uh, sh- uh, shit. <laughs> um... Not the State of play. Thing, right? State of play, November 1st. Oh, yes. Um, and it is going to announce Last of Us, uh, Ghost of... Uh, what Tetsushima. is it? Tetsushima. Tetsushima. That one. Yeah. And uh, Jedi game. Fallen Order. Star Wars. Boom. That was... Thank you for tuning in to PYP <laughs> Presents <laughs> Rapid Fire. Pew, 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 pew. Pew. Okay. And... 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 Fiend. 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 Aw. Um, <laughs> all right, let's talk about Nintendo striking down moment. music. That was a cute one. That was a little moment. Yeah, so Nintendo is taking down all your playlists. On they're YouTube. all done. They're just they they're gone. are gone. Yeah. So they are being treated like Game Freak treats Pokemon Sword and Shield. Meaning, they don't treat it well. Meaning poorly. Yes. yes. Very poorly. So yeah, Nintendo is striking. Uh, you know, YouTube channels that have Nintendo music on it. So uh, Giva Sunner came out on Twitter and showed a list of pretty much all his videos getting strike struck down so i mean i mean they're yeah, doing they're, they, they the past few days have been on a tear they've been doing it big channels small channels just any music they find they've been striking yeah and so you know again if you're not using it in a transformative way it it is their music so they do have right the, the right to it but at the same time it kind of sucks as consumers because then there's no other way to get it you know i mean yeah well maybe because a user on reddit pointed out something interesting super mario 64 has its ost that's original soundtrack for all you casuals out there 
on Spotify. It's truly original oh, soundtrack. Cool. It's not a cover or anything like a lot of Nintendo stuff you see on Spotify. And it's just the artist is just Super Mario 64. So some people are speculating maybe Nintendo is kind of putting out a test balloon, seeing if they're going to upload their stuff to Spotify or other streaming services. Um, we'll put a picture of this up, but Right? Can we do that, Producer Gunner? We can We can do we that. We can do that. We'll get that for y'all. We can do that. But if you make a radio station on Spotify out of anything from Super Mario 64, for those of you familiar with Spotify, you'll know it, it, go, it does like three pictures of the artist, and then on either side, there are like similar artists. If you do that with the Super Mario 64 OST, according to this one Reddit user, on one side, you can get Star Fox logo, and on the other, you can get the Zelda logo, like the originals. Oh, like actual yeah, real Yeah, the actual, actual real artwork. Oh. Um, we'll throw that picture in there on the video here on YouTube. But this Nintendo just all of a sudden kind of coming out and striking down all the music from YouTube could be a play as they get ready to upload their stuff to streaming services. Uh, this year, I believe it was, maybe late last year, we've seen Capcom and Square Enix do the same thing with all of their music. Yeah, and Octopath Traveler actually yeah. is one of the most recent ones. Well, that's Square Enix. Yeah, I, I know, I know, but so, I'm saying, still saying it's casual. one of the most recent. But we could, Nintendo could be getting ready to do that, which would be awesome. It'd be really cool. It'd you be know, a nice it, gift that they could give me after absolutely destroying all my YouTube playlists. And it just seems like common sense, too, because they have such a vast library of music and, you know, just be an extra source of revenue for them costs nothing to put it up there and then it's just sitting there making money i mean they, they have some of the most popular uh, series in the world like the most popular ips except little big planet except little big y'all thought i forgot about that it's been four I episodes hope you forgot about that it's been six episodes if you count episode zero episode pyp or, beginnings pyp beginnings i love little big planet it's true write that down everyone keep write it down write, write that down, down. Right, right now um but yeah i would be very excited if nintendo put their music up on Spotify. Gotta have to remake those uh, playlists. Yeah. For those of you who are looking for a good OST playlist, go ahead and check out Courage Need Not Be Remembered on Spotify. It's a good playlist. I'm gonna I'm gonna ho go ahead and uh, plug myself there. Don't don't say your last name. I won't. Don't. Okay. Good, you didn't. Uh, another plug for y'all. <laughs> go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment on this podcast, baby. <laughs> Woo! Ding 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 ding. Hit that groovy bell. <laughs> Oh, well, I think we have, <laughs> I think we have uh, one more story. One more, and it's a super one. It's a, <laughs> I see what you did there. The super Nintendo. Oh, I beat you to it. Yeah, so the one-year anniversary of NES Online is coming up. You know, Or just Nintendo Switch Online Nintendo's, in general. No, uh, yes, but, you know, specifically the NES emulator being online. I guess it doesn't really matter. But yeah, no, anyway, so there's been a lot of speculation for a long time there's been data mines where they've seen other emulators within uh the the like the nes online app and one of them is the same emulator that's the in in the uh, super nintendo classic so for a long time we've expected super nintendo games to come to switch also we didn't really need the data mines it kind of just makes sense it, I, I, well, yeah. the super nintendo has some of the most classic games of all time why wouldn't they put it on the switch devaluing them they're no, it, they're already devalued into the ground. Yeah, well, yes, but still, Nintendo has a history of making its properties as valuable as possible. Yeah, sure, but they kind of ruined that when they did the Virtual Console. No, they ch you charge like seven bucks for Super Mario World. Sure, but they're pro well. Okay, we can get into I mean, this later. It's a good but... game, but still. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. This was kind of common sense. This was going to come. Yes, we we all knew it was going to come. Uh, the other thing, and kind of the, one of the curiosities here. First of all, I, there's multiple curiosities, but first of them is which games are going to be included and there was another well, also the reason yeah. this is in the news which gunner seemed to have completely forgotten about is because they some some virgin probably was going through fcc filings and found one from nintendo of a wireless snes controller yeah. that has very similar innards to the nes version so they're as you may remember they sold the nes controllers that slid onto the switch when they did um the nes online app yeah so they're very so likely like seventy do this bucks, again. sixty yeah. or seventy bucks. Yeah. Um. Obviously, SNES controllers are leagues and bounds better than NES controllers. Significantly. Um. But the fact that they've registered this with the FCC means it's getting close. So it's. I mean, if it weren't, if it wasn't a guarantee before, it is now. Pretty much. Yeah. But you know, again, what kind of games? What we will we see? And uh, included in those leaks were about tw I think it was like twenty two different games. That were included, notably, you know, Star Fox being on there, Super Mario World, 
uh, Legend of Zelda, a Link to the Past. So, you know, a lot of big Super Nintendo titles. Earthbound wasn't on there, which I hope they end up putting that on, on there because I think it is a game that a lot of people should play. But, you know, it, it's exciting to see, and it also makes me wonder, you know, are they going to increase the price of the online service? Because that is a possibility I mean, at this point. These, If you compare these games to some of the games that are on the NES online, I don't want to bash those games on the NES because they did a lot for the industry. But, I mean... If you're Still. comparing the original Zelda to the link to a link to the past, it's so clear <laughs> it's which like one's better. Yeah. Um I personally would pay way more to have SNES games. I, I think a lot of people feel the same way. And especially me, I don't have a Wii U, so I don't have access to the SNES virtual console. Um and obviously the Wii shop's closed. And Rest uh, in pickles. Yeah. But it's very likely we could see a price increase and they're gonna drop this to incentivize people to sign up again because the product itself is not doing that. Yeah. Honestly, I paid the 20 bucks or whatever for the year-long subscription for the NES games and nothing I else. I just I paid it for the NES games and Smash. That's literally it. Yeah, and I mean, I'm fine with that, but they're not they're not getting new people to sign up by promoting the actual service. They're doing it by right. saying, "Hey, look, you can play Super Metroid on your Switch." And that's pretty cool. That's cool. I would that's love very that. Very cool. And I'd love to see them I guess I, this is a point that literally everybody says, but I'd love to see them, you know, put a Nintendo 64 and maybe even eventually a GameCube. You know, we still haven't seen the GameCube come back in any other way other than what, like Twilight Princess remastered. So, and that was just, that and, was a Wii uh, game as well. Wind Waker. Oh, and Wind Waker. But. Idiot. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my foolishness, but you know, I'd love to see uh, some 3D virtual console or, um, you know, like service-based virtual console kind of stuff as well. And I think we eventually will, at least with the Nintendo 64. I'd say that that's another guarantee, maybe in another year or so. But uh, definitely excited for Super Nintendo because there's a lot of games uh, that I really want to play that I haven't had time to play for a while. And so, you know, them being on my Switch will make it a lot more convenient. But yeah, that's our big story for this week. As always, we're pressing Y for some things, aren't we? Oh, yeah, we are, baby. Oh, yeah, we are. So I'm going to start us no, off. No, I'm going to go first because no, 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 I introduced no. us. I introduced I... us. I get to go first. That's how it works, That's, Gunner. That, are the, that is the rules. Those are the rules. Without rules, we'd be nothing more than animals. Right, John? That's a little, a little John Rick reference. John Rick. All right, pal. <laughs> um, mine is really quick. I'm going to make... Producer Gunner drop a picture of it in the video because you need I the love visualization. Um, uh, Nintendo, the Nintendo store in New York City is selling a Game Boy Color watch. It is absolutely ridiculous looking and I love it and I want one, but I don't live in New York. So Ice on my wrist. I just want a GC, <laughs> GVC with a Dava Ranch. Be pretty, uh, pretty clean. Yeah. All right. I think it's cool. It's funny. Um, Gunner's going to drop a picture in because I don't do that. That's not my job. It's I've actually carried job. this episode, so I do not feel bad yeah, making Gunner. This has do been any a of this. it's been a rough week for me. This is <laughs> not not just on this episode, just in general. It's been a rough week. Oh yeah, you trying to get pity likes? No, I'm if just If it works, that's I've good. just been busy. Rough in a busy sense, not yeah. in a boohoo sense. Yeah. Well, what yeah. are you pressing Y for, Gunner? What's making you what feel better? What am I pressing Y for? Week? Well, you know, with a hat in the time, a hat in time. A hat in the time. A hat in the time time what, what was it you said earlier time rated t really. time comma hat in yeah that's very funny um <laughs> it's not bad it's, it's not my worst bet anyway as you can probably guess at this point my, i'm pressing y for a hat in time it is it's up there on my favorite games it's very fun you know if you want a really good hat based platformer you know you can play mario odyssey and then just go play a hat in time it's a very fun game uh, sometimes it feels a little floaty, uh, especially like the dive mechanic in it kind of feels weird uh, sometimes. But overall, you know, it's really clever, uh, really like just witty. And it's got really cool environments with really fun characters. And, you know, it's constantly just throwing really random things at you. It's very, you know, very, very creative at the very least. Uh, but, you know, th with that creativity comes really good gameplay. And you know, I enjoy every second of the platforming in it. It's very, very fun, uh, except for some parts of Subcon Forest. Don't get mad at me, but I really don't like Subcon Forest. So, but yeah, definitely play A Hat in Time. It's very fun. It's what I'm pressing Y for. And uh, whenever it re-releases, I'm not re-releases, but whenever it releases for the Switch this year, I might play it again just to uh, 
just to experience it again. Uh, I don't have that Metro DLC either, so I'm going to try to play that. But uh, Seal the Deal was really fun. So, but yeah, that's, that's, that's all I'm pressing Y for this week. Something simple, something topical as well to kind of relate to nothing what's wrong with going that. on. No, nothing wrong nothing at all. Nothing wrong with that at all, man. Nothing at all. So, Patrick, what are our just wonderful Press Y Army people going to do? They're going to hit like. They're going to hit subscribe. They're going to comment. No, no, no. Then they're going to no, follow no, no, our no, no. Twitter. No, they're just going to share the videos with people because they're already like subscribe. You're not oh, part of the army unless you've done all that's that. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah, you're going to share this video with other this, people. Just, just share it. But what are people um, who aren't part of the Press Y Army going to do? They're going to join that mother flipping Press Army, boy. Yeah. They're going to like. They're going to subscribe. They're going to comment. They're going to vote in the poll that I'll put in a card or something. I don't know. I'll come up with something because I've said it now. Put it on Twitter. And we're not re recording this. No. no. You just put it on Twitter. Okay. We'll see. You'll it know, have to you'll say, know I mean, when just you see it. Just, it doesn't say anything. It's just, it's just blank. You'll know when blank. you see it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. Any so. final thoughts, Gunner? No final thoughts. Just how good this music is that we're listening to right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Well, so that's good. all I've got. So, so Bye forever. See ya.